Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation and uh, got a just a little bit of a short video here today uh, talking about our new uh, our PSS personal survival shelter system which is uh, which is a, a poncho that also makes into a tarp and also a third thing it makes into a hammock and uh, this video today is uh, kind of goes with the previous video we released about a month ago and uh, this is just a uh, a few tips and hints on uh, setting up the system and uh, um, some things about uh, using it and those sorts of things. Just, uh, some ideas, something to make things a little bit easier. So uh, up here in the beautiful mountains, uh, all the quaked aspen trees, uh, the leaves have, have changed here this fall and uh, we've had a little bit of snow up here a couple of weeks ago. So uh, we're well into the fall season and Enjoying this uh, beautiful time of year up here, and hey, what uh, more perfect way to uh, to uh, celebrate it and to enjoy the outdoors and to be up here in this weather and shooting this little video. So let's get on to it here and see what we can come up with. All right, on our previous video, we showed uh, the uh, uh, using the uh, setup as a poncho and uh, the snaps down the side, all that sort of thing. Now let's uh, show making the poncho into a hammock. So what we do, you can take it off and do it or whatever, but just uh, un unsnap your, all your snaps here on both sides. Then take that off. Now the thing can uh, basically lay out straight and we can turn this thing into a hammock. Let me show you the detail of that. All right, so we've got the got the hood of the poncho here, and there's the bottom front part of the poncho, and here's the uh, back part of it. And if you'll notice, um, there's this uh, this sleeve or tube that's sewn in here, and it's um, it's hollow right through here, all the way down here, through to the other side. And what we're going to do is thread our parachute cord through there uh, in order to set this thing up as a hammock. All right, so we've got our uh, parachute cord here. We'll just undo it. We uh, wind this stuff up for you in a figure eight so it uh, comes undone with no hassles and no tangles and all that sort of thing. What I want to do is I want to just get the two ends of the parachute cord. I mean, this is what I do most of the time, and you can kind of vary it however you want. But I've, this is my, my loop that's halfway, and what I want to do is I want to drop this loop down through that sleeve that I just showed you. And uh, the easiest way to do that is, I've done before like a fork stick, a little fork in it, and just shove it through the, shove it through the sleeve or um, other things I've done. I have a pocket knife with a little lanyard I've put on there and dropped it through that way, so however you want to. Um, this makes it so we basically eliminate one knot. You don't need a knot uh, at the hammock end of the rope. We're just going to pass the other end of the rope through here, which I'll show you in a second. So here's another way that I just came upon here. Just, uh, just a sinker. And all I'm going to do is I just attached a swivel to it. Just hook that through there. And uh, I'll just drop this thing down through the sleeve. And when I get out the other end, I'll just unhook it. And then I can do the other side. All right, so here we've got the, the hole in the sleeve right here. All we want to do is just drop that weight down in there. And then all I do is, and I'm going to step back here a little so you can actually see this a little bit. And uh, all I do is just drop that in there. Then you just uh, just shake this a little bit like this. You just kind of shake it just so it kind of falls through there. And it only takes just a few seconds. And we're out the other side. Here we are out the other side right here. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'll unhook this little get up here 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass the free end of the uh, cord, the double. Since we fold it in half, we got a double here. And now, all I'm doing here is just uh, pulling all the slack out. And uh, let me get this tab out of the way so you can see it. He's out of the way here. So what I've done here is I pulled the loop through the sleeves and then I pulled the rest of the cord through here. And now all I do is just draw that up tight. So, so now the end of our poncho or tarp is now gathered all in one little uh, ball here. And now we can take the other end of this cord and we can tie it around a tree to do the process of setting up our hammock. And uh, once you get this down, you can set this thing up, uh, go from poncho to hammock in, in five minutes, no problem. All right, we'll do the other side, and then we'll put this thing in the tree, and we'll show you what we got there. All right, so here we go on this other end. Just hold this open with my finger right here, this little sleeve. Got my... Uh, sink her down into there or whatever you want uh, I've got a little Swiss Army knife a little pocket it's a little tiny uh, mini the mini champ I think it is and I've hooked that on and done the same thing before too but I'm just kind of messing around with a new idea I've got to try something new so there you go just uh, you know I don't know 15 seconds or so and uh, I just unhook this out of here and stick it in my pocket just to sink her on a and then you know as we did before we've got our loop and our other end we just pull that up through the loop right there and then we just start gathering this you see right here we're just gathering all this cord together drawing this down tight and I like I don't know. I like to just kind of form it. Sometimes it kind of gets gobbed together, but just want to form it in a nice tight little circle right there. And now we've gathered the poncho ends, both ends, into a uh, hammock configuration. So let's set up the hammock now. All right, so now we're to this point here. Um, all I want to do is I'll just take this end of the parachute cord, wrap it around this tree, now this depends on how big your trees are. You know, these are about five or six inches diameter. The bigger your tree, you know, you may not be able to do as much with this as, as what I'm going to do, but I just want to show you this is my ideal way. I like to avoid uh, tying knots on these hammocks as much as possible. That's why we don't do one here on this end. We just run it through that loop. On this end here, what I want to do is I want to take as much stress off of a knot as I can so I just bring my rope around and I run it underneath like this and bring it around now I could either I could either tie that off right here uh, just like that and I've taken a lot of stress off the knot by doing what I've just done here um, the other thing I can do and sometimes I do just on smaller diameter trees like this is I go back around the other way and then, you know, you can do whatever you want, throw a couple of uh, half hitches in there if you'd like to. That works fine. Just like that. So there we go. That's plenty good to hold the, hold the uh, hammock up. Now we'll go tie off the other end. Okay, so here I am on this side. Going to tie up the, uh, this other end of the hammock. Now just wrap it around like this. Now I just pull back like that. Now I'll pull back a little bit harder once, now that I've got the other end all secured. I'll firm this up pretty good. Um, you're going to get just a little bit of stretching. In fact, a lot of times I'll tie up my hammock and then I'll, um, then I'll lay in it and come back up and retension it because once all your cords kind of stretch in and all your, your knots and all that sort of thing, um, a lot of times they need another little Another little tightening to make them go right. So that's all we need right there. That'll that'll hold it just fine. All right, so 
here I am. I got everything suspended. Now this tree over here is a little on the small side, so when I get in here, it's going to probably pull that a little bit and sag it. But we don't care. We just want to be off the ground. So what I like to do is I find where the hood is. That's the halfway point. I just pull one edge of the tarp down, or hammock, or whatever we want to call it. <laughs> it's all three. I just pull it down towards the back of my knees, so I'm kind of sitting right here in the middle. And then just, uh, and just kind of roll back into it. And, you know, you can kind of adjust however you want to. Um, so anyway, here's the hammock like this. Uh, one of the nice things about it is, since it is a poncho also, it's five, about five feet wide. So I've got a lot of material. If I wanted to, i got a lot of material that I can, I can pretty much, I can pretty much button myself right into here if I wanted to. So there we are, the, uh, our PSS set up as a, as a hammock here.